In this video, we're going to learn how to find the measure of the smaller angle between the hands of an analog clock. Let's say we'll start with 17 past 10. So what is the measure of this angle? The smaller angle between the two hands of a clock exactly at 1017. That's a problem we'll try to address. Before we can get to our main problem of finding the angle between the hands of an analog clock, let's try to find out a few things. We need to know exactly what angle is sweeped by the minute hand every minute and what angle is sweeped by the, by the hour hand every minute. So in our picture, the black hand is the hour hand and the red hand is the minute hand. So let's start with the minute hand. Let's say we are interested in finding out we are interested in finding out the angle sweeped by the minute hand, the red hand, ignore the black hand for now, every single minute. Now, one can easily see that in 15 minutes the minute hand sweeps an angle of 90 degrees. In 15 minutes, the minute hand sweeps an angle of 90 degrees, and by sweeps, we mean this angle. Now, if the minute hand sweeps an angle of 90 degrees every 15 minutes, if you just take 90 and divide it by 15, you're going to get 6 degrees. So, we're concluding that the minute hand sweeps an angle of 6 degrees every one minute. Let's do a very similar kind of math with the hour hand. Now, we know that the hour hand sweeps an angle of 30 degrees. By the way, we are looking at the we are looking at the black hand we know that the hour hand sweeps an angle of 30 degrees. By the way, this is 30 because 30 plus another 30 plus another 30 is going to make your 90. So we know the hour hand sweeps an angle of 30 degrees every 60 minutes. So take your 30 degrees divided by 60 and you're going to get 0 0.5 degrees. So we're going to claim that the hour hand sweeps an angle of 0.5 degrees every minute. Those are the two facts that we need to keep straight. And here they are. The first one, every minute the minute hand sweeps an angle of 6 degrees and every minute the hour hand sweeps an angle of 0.5 degrees. Now these two facts will help us find the angle between the hands of uh, an analog clock at any given time. Let's now address our main problem. We need to find out the angle between the hands of our analog clock exactly at 1017. How do we determine that? Now these facts were gathered from our previous slide. The two facts that we, we straightened. So we all know this. We all know this. That this angle has to be 120. 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. This angle has to be 120. So let's keep that straight here. 120 degrees. Okay? Now, we'll do it like this. 120 degrees. We need to find this angle. Now, the minute hand sweeps an angle of 6 degrees every one minute and from when the minute hand was here at 10.15 then it two minutes have passed 10.15, 10.16, 10.17 so in two minutes it's going to sweep an angle of 12 degrees 6 degrees per minute, two minutes, 12 degrees so this is 
12 degrees. Let's use a different color. This is 12 degrees. Okay, so now we need to, let's use yet another color. We need to know this, this angle. Okay, now this other hand will be at the 11 mark in how many minutes? Right now it's 1017, so in 43 minutes the other hand will make sweep this angle. In 43 minutes the other hand will sweep this angle that's marked blue. Now the other hand sweeps an angle of 0.5 degrees every one minute. In 43 minutes it's going to sweep an angle of 43 times 0 0.5 which is uh, 43 divided by 2 which is going to be 21.5. So this angle has to be 21.5. Let's use smaller uh, narrower line. This has to be 21.5. There is a decimal. So our final answer should be the blue angle plus the red angle plus the green angle. And let's do it right here in pink. 120 plus 12 plus 21.5, which turns out to be 120 plus 12 is going to be 132, 153.5, 153.5 degrees. Uh, let me check by math once again, 120, 132, 153.5, that's correct. So the angle between the, the smaller angle between the hands of the analog clock at 1017 or 17 minutes past 10 is going to be exactly 153.5 degrees. That's our answer.